river that's, that's undammed and surviving in the desert southwest is the San Pedro. So if you're a songbird that's moving from Mexico to Canada, um, you have one bus stop left, and that's the San Pedro. The San Pedro River is in southern Arizona. It actually crosses the border. It flows north from Mexico into the United States. And it flows for about 140 miles before it uh, empties into the Gila River. And that long stretch of river oriented north-south makes it a critically important uh, wildlife movement corridor. We love the San Pedro. We care about the millions of neotropical songbirds that depend on it as a home. And we love the endangered species that represent the peril of the river. But the reality is that the folks that are in charge of our defense department, they don't care. The biggest water user in the basin is the military. And so about half the water that's being pumped in the area comes from the activities, the personnel, the employees of the Army base, Fort Huachuca. Fort Huachuca is the biggest danger to killing the river. The lawsuit is a continuation of our efforts to, to compel Fort Huachuca and the Fish and Wildlife Service to comply with their obligations under the Endangered Species Act. Fort Huachuca and the Fish and Wildlife Service tried to argue that the fort was not at all a problem and in fact that it was providing a net groundwater surplus and that there would only be positive impacts on the San Pedro River into the future. That counterfactual assertion is what they used to sidestep the Endangered Species Act and avoid a jeopardy determination and all the significant obligations that, that would trigger under the ESA. We feel that too often uh, what we see is that politics trumps science. You know, we get this biological opinion that's supposed to be driven by science and what, what's actually best for endangered species. And we see that it's been downplayed or that, that they've ignored important science, they, they've ignored important information uh, or distorted the issue in some way that, you know, they're not really telling the truth about what's going to happen to endangered species along that river. The current lawsuit is just one of many in a long string. So I believe this is lawsuit number eight against Fort Huachuca itself. We've won seven and we will win eight. And to date, while we're winning our lawsuits, the downward trend has been unwavering. And it's now at the point where if the Department of Defense continues to try to just literally put band-aids on hemorrhaging wounds, the San Pedro will die. There's a number of endangered species along the San Pedro River, a number of birds like the western yellow-billed cuckoo, the southwestern willow flycatcher, there is the Huachuca water umble, which is a tiny, tiny little unassuming plant. Uh, looks kind of just like a blade of grass, just a few inches tall. And that plant relies on, on moist banks along the river uh, for survival. We also have the, a number of uh, endangered fish in the river, uh, snakes, frogs, you know, all, all kinds of species that, that rely on places like that for survival yet are in deep trouble because so many of those places have been destroyed already. So uh, when we go to bat for the river, we're going to bat for a whole list of species. It's really kind of hard to say uh, how long the San Pedro River can persist in these conditions. You know, we're, we're working in the context of this ongoing climate crisis. We had the hottest summer in Tucson history, in Arizona history this year, and the driest summer, the driest monsoon in history and you know depending on how many more years that we have like that uh, you know the river could be collapsing in just as little as five or ten years um, you know if we have some wet years maybe it could be longer but it's kind of hard to say but the point is to err on the side of caution the point is to err on the side of protecting the river because when the river's dead it's dead there's no going back everybody who lives here is taking water from this aquifer. It's our only source of water. The biggest player, um, the biggest entity here is Fort Huachuca. They are the reason Sierra Vista exists 
and the reason there are 50,000 people in this valley. The city still does not have an adequate water component to their master plan. <clears throat> I can sometimes break down in tears when I think about um, what its future appears to be. Um, I am worried for it. I hope it doesn't happen in my lifetime, but that's <clears throat> not an adequate way to plan for the future. I am a physician by training, and the reality is, is that all of us are going to die. But the San Pedro doesn't have to die. The San Pedro is dying because we're actively killing it. It makes me sad. But I do have to say, it also makes me much more um, motivated and much stronger to try to protect places like the San Pedro because they really have a right to exist. And so while we're saddened, we're much stronger and we're not gonna stop.